Good evening, Lewis University trustees, President Livingston, members of the faculty, staff, and administration, alumni, graduates, and guests of graduates. We are all proud to gather here today as part of our 112th commencement to recognize and honor the achievements of the May 2023 graduates of the College of Aviation Science and Technology and the College of Nursing and Health Sciences. Please rise as we begin our program with a presentation of the colors by the Student Veterans of America and ROTC Color Guard. Members of the university's chamber choir, conducted by Jeremy Landig, will lead us in the singing of our national anthem. Thank you for a very fitting opening to our program. Please be seated. At this time, I am pleased to identify the members of the platform party, which includes Dr. David Livingston, president of Lewis University, members of the board of trustees, vice presidents, deans, various administrators, members of the faculty, alumni, and graduates. We are all very honored to share this day with our graduates. To begin the ceremony, I now invite John Christopher Malalin, one of today's graduates from the College of Nursing and Health Sciences, to offer our invocation. Please remain seated. Mr. Malalin. Let us pause to remember that we are always in the holy presence of God. Lord God, we ask that you grant to us hearts that are thankful for learners, for teachers, for family, for friends, and for all who have been our companions along the road that, led, that has led us here today. Grant to us voices that speak the truth as you would have us speak it, and wills dedicated to the service of all our brothers and sisters, both near and far. Grace us with the strength to commit ourselves to fulfilling the Lasallian mission of Lewis University in our lives together, embracing knowledge in a spirit of fidelity, wisdom, justice, and association. May we, may we be constantly aware of your call to act justly, to love tenderly, and to walk humbly with you throughout our lives. We make this prayer in your most holy name, amen.
Thank you, Mr. McLellan. I would like to add that today we remember in a particular way Spencer Coleman, an aviation administration major who passed away earlier this semester and had planned to graduate today. We continue to keep Spencer and his family in our prayers. I now invite Kathy Halloran, a member of the Board of Trustees, to offer her congratulations to the graduates. Ms. Halloran. Good evening, everyone. As a member of the Board of Trustees and a very proud alum of Lewis University, I am pleased to be here to celebrate this special occasion with all of you and to offer on behalf of the Board of Trustees our heartfelt congratulations as you graduate today. I would also like to recognize and thank family members and friends who have given you support and encouragement during your educational journey and throughout your lives. Today, you graduate from a leading Catholic and Lasallian University, one that's nationally recognized for providing a high quality, values-based education, a university where a dedicated and highly esteemed faculty, staff, and administration have been deeply committed to your learning and development. You leave Lewis University today having already accomplished significant educational achievements, but at the same time ready to pursue a lifetime of continued learning with a passion to create a better world. Your Liberal Arts Foundation has prepared you with critical thinking and reasoning skills, a sound understanding of the human experience, and a wider perspective on the complexities of today's contemporary society. Your professional preparation has equipped you with the forward thinking skills and knowledge and prepared you to be problem solvers and creative thinkers in an ever-changing world. Above all, your Lewis experience has enabled you to strengthen your ethics and values so that you move into the future as informed citizens and leaders with a strong sense of purpose. As you graduate today, I encourage you to continue to stay in touch with those who have shared your learning experience and with faculty members who have not only been your teachers and mentors, but become your friends. I also invite you to be active participants in the Alumni Association, and please remain connected to the Lewis community. The Board of Trustees is confident that you will continue to excel in life and will make a difference through meaningful impact in a world that is so much in need of your talents and contributions. So we wish you and your family much happiness and heartfelt blessings as you encounter new opportunities and reap further success in your lives. Congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Halloran. Dr. David Livingston, President of Lewis University, will now offer his words of encouragement to the graduates. Dr. Livingston. Thank you, Dr. Sent, Trustee Halloran. It is uh, such a pleasure to be with all of you this afternoon. Uh, it is so good to see this arena filled uh, with friends and family. I want to begin by thanking all the friends, family, uh, spouses, children, etc., who are here today and who have supported our graduates uh, over the last few years and allowed them to be uh, where they are today, sitting here ready to walk across this stage. I also want to uh, welcome virtually 
all those family and friends who could not be with us in person today and are joining us via our live stream. I also want to thank and honor our faculty and our staff. They are the ones that made it possible for our students to be here tonight because of their commitment to our students' success, their expertise in their fields, and the creation of a learning environment that is filled with possibility. Graduates, congratulations. Well done. We are so proud of each and every one of you. As I've been reflecting on your time at Lewis University, it was hard for me to not think about it in terms of a journey, a hero's journey. For many of you, you decided to begin your career at Lewis in the fall of 2019, or maybe at another institution and you transferred here. And then in the spring of 20, the whole world went crazy. And everything you expected about your college experience changed because all your classes went online. There's a religion scholar, his name is Joseph Campbell, and he wrote a book that's entitled The Hero with 10,000 Faces. I think this weekend we could retitle that book The Heroes with 1,289 Faces, for that is how many graduates will walk across this stage this weekend. A brief outline of Campbell's theory. The hero is an ordinary person living out her life, and she must depart this ordinary life when she receives a call to adventure. This call usually involves a mentor or guide, i.e. your faculty and staff who are sitting here, who invites the hero to cross over a threshold into a supernatural world. The world is filled with challenges, trials, extraordinary tests, for the hero, and at some point in the hero's journey, she is confronted with the greatest trial and overcomes it. And through overcoming this great challenge, the hero receives an award, a, a gift, a special power. When the hero returns to the ordinary world, she is able to use this power for her friends, her family, her community. Many authors in contemporary time have used this theory uh, you can think of Spider-Man, Princess Elsa from Frozen, Luke and Leia Skywalker. You get my point. And these faculty in front of you here are your Yodas. You graduate today in an age of Pandora. And I do not mean by that the streaming music service. Recently, I read an op-ed piece by Thomas Friedman. And in this piece, he talked about two Pandora's box that have recently been opened. He was talking about generative AI and climate change. And I would add to Friedman's list genetic engineering and the ability to change the human genome and the genomes of all other creatures, and the complete rethinking of work as we have known it over the last five years. These four boxes have been opened by my generation, and now your generation must deal with the consequences. Each of these Pandora's boxes creates challenges that unfold and unravel with startling speed and sometimes unfathomable consequences. And yet, we should never forget that the only thing remaining in Pandora's box in this classic myth, after everything else has flown to the winds, is hope. So hope remains, and where I see that hope, is in each one of these chairs in which one of our graduates sits. I believe in your heroic power, and you give me hope. 
Friedman says that he has a simple rule when he's trying to deal with these Pandora's boxes. The faster the pace of change and the more godlike powers we humans develop, the more everything old and slow matters more than ever. The more everything you learned in Sunday school, he says, wherever you draw your ethical inspiration from matters more than ever. One of my Sunday school people is Dorothy Day. She was the founder of the Catholic Worker Movement, and she is a reminder for me on a regular basis to slow down. She tells us in her memoir, The Long Loneliness, we cannot love God unless we love each other. And to love, we must know each other. We know God in the breaking of the bread, and we know each other in the breaking of the bread. And we are not alone anymore. Heaven is a banquet. Life is a banquet, too. We all have known the long loneliness, and we have learned that the only solution is love, and that love comes with community. Now, for me, over the last four years, there have certainly been moments where I've felt that long loneliness, that sense of isolation. And what I've also found is that the way you get rid of the long loneliness is in community, in love, and in breaking bread together. In the midst of the many challenges that the Pandora's boxes bring to you, please use what you've learned at Lewis Use the wisdom that your faculty and the staff have passed on to you, especially those lessons that have taught you how to live life well with your friends, that have taught you how to improve the world. You are heroes. And I know that as I watch you leave our campus today that I am filled with hope because you will create a better world for me and most importantly, for my grandchildren. I hope you walk away from your experience at Lewis with a confidence, a longing for justice, mercy as a habit in your everyday life, and humility in each step. But as you step, I also hope you step with joy, with a smile on your face, and laugh often, celebrate well. Seek out the sunrise and the sunset and the awe and the wonder that comes from paying attention to the infinite in the finite. Stay close to those you love, thanking them often for all that they've given you in your life. Celebrate well, laugh often, and value community. You are amazing people. You have accomplished so much. Live well, heroes. We are so proud of you. God bless you and all those you love. Thank you for your kind attention. Thank you, Dr. Livingston. Traditionally on commencement weekend, Lewis University honors individuals whose accomplishments reflect the Catholic and LaSallean mission of the university. Today, we are delighted to recognize Dolores Pavletic by conferring on her the degree Doctor of Humanities Honoris Causa. I now ask that Kathy Halloran and Dr. Livingston kindly come forward to confer the degree. After receiving the degree, Ms. Pavletic will offer her remarks. Lewis alumna Dolores M. Pavletic has devoted her life to aviation, serving as an accomplished commercial pilot, exceptional administrative leader, generous mentor, and a determined advocate for women and other underrepresented groups in the aviation industry. All during a time, including the present, when only about 5% of commercial pilots in the United States are women. Indeed, she is a pathfinder and an extraordinary role model both within and beyond the aviation industry. 
Throughout her career, Ms. Pavletic has served in numerous and increasingly more complex roles, both in the United States and abroad, at FedEx Express, her professional home since 1989. She began her career there as a second officer and advanced through the ranks to captain. Ms. Pavletic later served for many years as fleet captain and chief pilot, providing leadership and oversight for 850 flight crew members for Memphis, Tennessee, and Hong Kong. Most recently, she serves for several years in senior management as the Asia Pacific Director of Operations and Fleet Captain based in Hong Kong, where she maintained three offices and provided leadership for 19 staff members and 200 flight crew members and families living in Hong Kong. Ms. Pavletic's leadership has included a steadfast commitment to advocating for the hiring of women and other underrepresented groups in aviation. For numerous years, she served as FedEx's scholarship committee volunteer for the International Society of Women Airline Pilots and as the company represented assisting, assisting with pilot hiring and supporting recruitment events for Women in Aviation International, the Organization of Black Aerospace Professionals, and the National Gay Pilots Association. As a Lewis student, Ms. Pavletic majored in sociology and also participated with Lewis's flight team, earning credits toward her degree for flight training and ratings. She credits her mother, one of the very few women who earned a private pilot's license in the 1970s for inspiring her to take flying lessons and to eventually make a flying a career. Ms. Pavletic's trailblazing courage and resilience, her commitment to professional excellence, and her extraordinary support of the next generation of aviators especially members of underrepresented groups, reflects well the LaSallean educational mission of Lewis University. For these and other pertinent reasons, we are most pleased and privileged to confer on Ms. Del Del Dolores M. Pavletic the degree of Doctor of Humanities, honoris causa, with all rights and privileges thereof. Done here in Romeoville, Illinois, the sixth day of May, 2023. Well, thank you very much for that introduction and uh, special words. Um, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed members of the Board of Trustees, faculty members, and fellow graduates, it is truly an honor to stand before you today and accept this honorary doctorate degree. This recognition means a great deal to me, and I'm humbled and grateful for this honor. I want to start by expressing my gratitude to the university for bestowing upon me this prestigious recognition. I also want to thank my family, my friends, and colleagues for their support and encouragement throughout my aviation career. As I stand before you today, I cannot help but reflect on the incredible journey that has led me to this moment. My introduction to flying was made by my parents, who were both licensed private pilots during the 70s. My mother was actually the one who took me for my first flight in a Cessna 152. I was absolutely hooked on flying after that, and I knew I wanted to make it my career. During, their t during that time, there were very few women pilots especially commercial and airline transport rated pilots in the industry. My mother worked hard on earning her private pilot's license. Uh, she had many challenges, but she didn't give up and she succeeded. She was very much a role model for me 
and gave me much encouragement during my pursuit of my licenses and ratings over the years. Along with pilot training, uh, my Lewis education and experience played a large role in setting me on a successful career path. Lewis's values-centered curriculum and emphasis on community service and teaching and mentoring was a foundation for a good work ethic and developing leadership ability required in my field. After many years of building flight time and gaining experience through various jobs, I landed my dream job as an airline transport pilot and went to work for FedEx Express uh, in 1989. Over the years there, I had the privilege of flying various commercial jets in their fleet and working up to captain, a uh, captain position, a line check airman, training pilots, and chief pilot positions in flight management and operations. Over the years, I've had the privilege of serving the company through both domestic and international assignments. I've been fortunate enough to travel the world. I've experienced various varying uh, religions, cultures, and cuisines that I could have never experienced through a textbook or another profession. One of the most challenging yet memorable experiences in my career was the three years that I spent working in the Asia Pacific region while living in Hong Kong and serving FedEx during turbulent political times and then the pandemic. It was an incredibly demanding time, but I am proud to say that I was part of a team that worked tirelessly to ensure that the company served and protected their people, their employees and customers, and continued to thrive despite the taxing circumstances. As I reflect on my career, I am grateful for the many lessons that I've learned along the way. I learned the importance of hard work, dedication, and perseverance. I learned that success is not just about individual achievement, but about working as a team to achieve a common goal. I'm very excited about the future of our Lewis 2003 graduates. I'm very proud of your achievements today. The nursing and health science graduates carry on the Lewis tradition and will join a highly respected and caring professionals whose work is dedicated to saving lives. You have my utmost respect and you are truly the heroes. The aviation science and technology graduates will appreciate a very robust job market and have many opportunities in the industry never before seen. I'm very pleased that, uh, to see that you will be part of a pivotal change in the industry, especially the change in pilot and mechanic hiring, where finally diversity is encouraged, embraced, and celebrated, and there is equality for everyone. In conclusion, I want to thank the university again for this great honor. It is a recognition that I will always cherish. And to the graduates here today, I want to leave you with one final thought. Whatever your chosen profession may be, always remember the value of service. Use your skills and your talents to make a positive impact in the world, and you will find the rewards are immeasurable. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Pavletic. We continue our ceremony with the Lasallian Student Commencement Address, which will be delivered by Tyler Samaras, a business administration major. Mr. Samaras. Hey, Layla. Good afternoon, members of the Board of Trustees, Dr. Livingston, 
honored guests, faculty, staff, fellow graduates, parents, family, and friends. I want everyone to just take a deep breath and look around. This is the moment we've been waiting for. This is the moment we've been chasing for the past four or more years. This is a moment we will never forget. My college experience, from the people I've met to the adventures I've had, I can guarantee you, this place was the real deal. And so today, as the LaSallian speaker, I get to honor the achievements of my fellow graduates. Graduation is such an exciting time for transition, a time for reflection, hope, and a little bit of anxiety. Right now, I'm looking at a sea of endless potential, a room full of determination, persistence, and hard workers. As this ceremony progresses and the thought of the real world gets closer towards us, I invite all of us to re reflect on our experience during our college career. Are you the same person you were freshman year? Are you still connected with the people you started with four years ago? Perhaps. But you've changed. You're different. You've grown in wisdom and gained a sense of purpose. This sense of purpose gives us direction, a path towards changing the world and influencing the lives of those around us. You see, I believe the connections we made are the true gifts we get to reflect on tonight. So once again, just take a moment and think about those who made your college experience worth it. Think about those most important to you. Whether you're friends, siblings, parents, loved ones, those who stuck with you, those with you now, or those who taught you important lessons. They were your community of support for the last four or more years. Community is something we may take for granted, but having people who make us feel at home, away from home, is what makes life precious. It is essential that we thank these people today. Thank you. Knowledge tells us that moments like these are just instances in our lives. Wisdom, however, allows us to appreciate these instances and recognize them for what they are, real learning opportunities. Wisdom comes from knowledge and experience. And when we are wise enough to know that we need to be grateful, we've begun to appreciate the beauty life has to offer. All is gift, and by God, we need to be grateful. As you know, Lewis University is a LaSallian university, meaning it's organized in the tradition of education inspired by John Baptist de LaSalle, the patron saint of teachers and the founders of the Brothers of the Christian Schools. What can we learn from de LaSalle and his example? Well, his life can be very instructive towards us. John Baptist de La Salle was willing to give up his family fortune because he recognized a need to educate impoverished children and give them a chance at life. His mission was to provide them with a dangerous tool that could change the world. That tool was an education. As we leave here armed with an education, what are the opportunities we will take to make a difference? It's our responsibility to continue his mission and bring lights into those conditions that we recognize as the darkest. De La Salle encountered many failures in his pursuit of justice for the poor and forgotten, where he could not see the end result, but he still pursued his goal without certainty. We have learned that he was willing to make sacrifices for his goals. He was willing to endure failures and roadblocks so he can serve as a model for us in what we can do with courage and determination. When we are unsure of success, I challenge all of us to pursue our goals even when faced with uncertainty. No one of us can appreciate our failures when they occur. However, failures can be our greatest teacher if we allow them to be. You can look back and see where you went wrong, where you picked yourself up and moved forward. Perhaps we've learned something from these experiences. And if we can learn something from them, 
they make for some amazing stories down the road. Now, if you all don't mind, I would like to share just a few things I'm especially grateful for. My mom, my absolute rock, she has sacrificed so much to see me here on this stage, and I want the world to know how special she is. Thank you, Mom. I love you. I'm grateful for God and the opportunities that have been given to me that have made me stronger and more prepared for life. And my friends, without you guys, I wouldn't have made it to the stage. Thank you. So indeed, this is a day to be grateful for friends, for family, for opportunities to grow, and opportunities to fail and recover. I wish you all well wherever your future takes you, and I challenge you to use your skills, knowledge, and wisdom to create a better world for all those you will encounter along the way. Once again, congratulations, class of 2023. We did it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Samsaras. Each graduate knows the critical role that a variety of individuals have played in making their graduation possible today. At this time, I would like to formally recognize a few special groups for their encouragement and support. Would the members of the Lewis University faculty present here today please stand and be recognized? Thank you for your extraordinary dedication to your students, to the teaching profession, and to scholarship and service. Would all parents, spouses, partners, children, and grandchildren of our graduates kindly stand and be acknowledged? Please stay standing, and now would grandparents, relatives, other guests of the graduates, everyone else in the room, please stay, everyone please stay standing. Everyone in the room now is being acknowledged, please. Thank you all for your support and encouragement of the graduates. That was also your stretch break. <laughs> now for the presentation of the graduates. During the degree presentations, each student's name will be read aloud as they cross the stage. For those who would prefer not to shake hands as part of the degree presentation, feel free to offer a fist bump, elbow bump, or a nod. Anything works. Professional photographer will take a photo as each graduate is being congratulated by the president. For the courtesy of all our guests, if you wish to take a photo near the stage, please do it in the designated photo area to my right. I now invite Dr. Christopher White to come forward to present the candidates from the College of Aviation, Science, and Technology. He will be followed by Dr. Susan Muller, Dean of the College of Nursing and Health Sciences. Dr. White. President Livingston, members of the Board of Trustees, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Aviation Science and Technology, and as the Dean of the College, I certify that the following candidates have successfully completed the requirements for the degrees to be conferred upon them. I request, therefore, that you bestow upon them these degrees with all the rights and privileges thereof. Graduates, after you cross the stage and receive your diploma cover, ushers will guide you back to the appropriate seating area. Out of respect for the other graduates and their families, we ask that you remain seated for the duration of today's ceremony. Families and guests, you are welcome to applaud and cheer for the graduates. However, 
out of respect for all the graduates and their families, we ask that you minimize the celebration so as not to disrupt the reading of the names. Thank you, everyone, for your cooperation in helping to make this a special day for all of our graduates and their loved ones. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts, Jasmine Marie Buenrostro. Izat Hassan. For the degree, Bachelor of Science. Miriam N. Abid. Alejandra Aguilera. Serena Amin. Rashad M. Alasuli. Ahmad Albazor. Ashley Alyote. Logan Atilano. Amine Sami Ayad. Patricia Bafia. Stephen Earl Baker. Michelle M. Barbaro. Anthony M. Baldino. Crystal Maria Bermejo. Nicolette Page Bodenhagen. Abigail M. Born. Jacob Hunter Braley. Zachary Tyler Spencer Burkholder. Kyle V. Bye. Monica Caplicant. Catherine Ann Capra. Joy Cavalli. Suzanne Salea. Jeremy Alex Andrew Charles. Giovanni Cisneros. Dominic J. Conover. Kai S. Corpus. Vincent A. Cortesi. McKenna Crawford. Alexander Robert Crickman. Autumn R. Chrisafuli. For Khan Dadar. Gabrielle Olivia De La Garza. Abigail Diaz. David Diaz. Seth N. Dilworth. 
Court Andrew Dunlap. Paige Dyer. Colton C. Dinya. Anthony C. Abite. Antonio J. Elias Rodriguez. Camille Andrea Esquerra. Matthew W. Espinos. Aiden James Pfeiffer. Ian F. Fitzpatrick. Ethan Joseph Fox. Rafael Valentin Garcia. Genesis Dimitri Garfias. Ashley Marie Gates. Matthew Daniel Grasick. Haley L. Gregerson. Edwin Gutierrez. Addison Hagerman. Jeremy Hagerman. Jaser M. Hamden. Jack Robert Henshit. Autumn Marie Harrison. Alex James Hartlob. Logan Scott Hawkins. Eugene Thomas Henneberry. Will Hartman Hickey. Caden Hicks. William R. Holdsworth. Kylie Georgia Horvath. Andrew, pardon me, Anthony Juante. Haley Hope. Ahmad S. Hussein. Jacob W. Heise. Samuel Warren Inkea. Hannah Lorraine Jabay. Matus Matush Yanishevsky. Muhammad J. Gerard. Aaron R. Johnson. Kimberly Ann Johnson. Brandon Justice. Amelia Ketutsovich. Joseph S. Kareem. Right. 
Logan David Kelly. Brian A. Kemp. Michael Kennedy. Adam S. Khalil. Alina Khan. Kevin Chris Kaichak. George W. Kamik. Claire Elizabeth Knight. Joseph Michael Koenig, Jr. Joseph Anthony Kudya. Jeffrey D. Kaida. Spencer Robert Lage. Haley Leon. Maximus Stephen Lewis. Earl John Quinn Barhalim. Marcus Gerard Lim. Kristen Mary Leva. Jacob London. Rory J. Lotz. Lauren Kaysorn Longsomecom. Radoswaf Stanislav Lukarts. Jesus Esteban Macias. Donald J. Makovic III. Daniel Paul Manger. Andrea J. Martinez. Celine Martinez. Matthew Michael Martica. Maria Masood. Anthony James Mastoris. Peter Eboteta Imbi. Murad Othman A. Badri. Elizabeth McDonald. Maria Melnichuk. Miles Theodore Mena. Emily Grace Meredith. Eric Meyer. Jacob Rudolph Milik. James A. Mazura. Thank you. 
Amanda Patricia Moldovan. Jacob Edward Moriarty. Matthew John Morrow. Kyle Robert Moses. Miriam G. Munoz. Danya Mohammed Fati Nasser. Catherine Grace Nelson. Matthew Samuel Galamu. Simeon Galamu. Stephen P. Nugent. Michael John O'Brien. Emily Rose O'Connell. John M. O'Connor. Matthew Austin O'Malley. Christian Ogao. Robert Paul Olson. Eric James Paholski. Caitlin A. Palmer. Romana Zainub Pasha. Stephen R. Pav. Norman A. Paz Ramirez. Sean Christopher Pierce. Marissa Rose Perez. Jacob Taylor Petrick. Despina Pet Petrushevsky. Jonathan Michael Pisek. Rick Anthony Pina. Brennan J. Price. Arnufel Carlin Pulido. Annalyn Puretza. Crucifiso V. Pusateri. Oliver Heitzig. Rakesh S. Ragu. Ahmad Rahman. Cristobal Ramos. Ethan Randolph. <laughs> Hannah Rausch. <laughs> Jonah Lawrence Renfro. <laughs> Kevin Romo Reyes.
Alex C. Rivas. Jailene Rivera. Brendan Rourke. Juan Rosas. Leighton Rutherford. Kellen James Sandon. Vladislava Saliva. Margaret Jean Sampson. Irene Sampson. Belene Reginald Sanga Numea. Stephanie Saxon. Hunter Gage Shell. Alexander Victor Elliot Shopler. Michael G. Schuler. Anna Naola Sebastian. Ethan David Sefsik. Amira Monir Shehade. Gurjeet Singh. Nicholas J. Songer. David Eduardo Sosa. Kevin Daniel Soto. Matthew D. Spritzer. Savannah Luis Stenger. Nicole Stachek. Dimitar Stohanovsky. Francis Sumio. Irham Fatima Sayed. Nicholas J. Tarnowski. Connor J. Thompson. Richard Charles Toth, Jr. Kevin Tran. Megan Elizabeth Vesta. Saad Wahid. Alyssa Joe Walsh. Andrew Denton Whited. Adrian Thomas Flodarts. Carrington Malachi Woods. Alejandro Zambrano. Jacob T. Smartsley. Arduan Zubiri. Miguel A. Zuno. Woo! 
for the degree Associate of Science. James Frank Geibel. Gregory Scott Podkova. President Livingston and members of the Board of Trustees, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Nursing and Health Sciences and as Dean of the College, I certify that the following candidates have successfully completed the requirements for the degrees to be conferred upon them. I request, therefore, that you bestow upon them these degrees with all the rights and privileges thereof. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts, Pamela Jean Domagala. Nicole M. LaRucci. Lourdes Panagua. Jorge Venita. For the degree, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Fabian Aguilar. Matthew Paul Alcala. Shireen Shine G. Alvaro. Lisbeth Avila. Marima Bachinovic. Rebecca Jane Biney. <laughs> Katrina Miranda Beverly. <laughs> Kayla Helen Bjorklund. <laughs> Jaylene Marie Carrion. <laughs> Megan Catherine Ewan. Mary Margaret Favia. Eleanor E. Featherstone. Madeline Rose Grad. Daniel Gross. Moksha Zen Havadia. <laughs> Mohammed Hamad. <laughs> Kayla A. Harris. <laughs> Myra Hernando. Peyton Elise Hole. <laughs> Teresa Denise Hurst. <laughs> Nicole Ashley Irvine. <laughs> Megan E. Jessen. Emily Josephowitz. Derek Anthony Chevroskovsky. Kelly Kunai. Joshua R. Lewis. John Christopher Castillo Malalin.
Rajdeep Matu. Eric Michael McMillan. Grace Hannah Menard. Hassan W. Muhammad. Ashley L. Moore. Lauren Mulliken. Angela Marie Myers. Megan Elaine Nyman. Jillian M. O'Hara. Juliana Marie Penko. Alyssa Angelina Pichardo. Marcel Reyes. Angela Marie Sestico. Meredith M. Stack. Cassidy Lim Eustom. Haley Shea Vaughn. Jessica M. Vunick. Veronica Zalinski. Andrea Zeiser. For the degree, Bachelor of Science. Kenneth Allen Barron. Morgan Alexandra Boucher. Ethan Francis David. Nina Francesca Guitron. Heaven Lay B. Jose. Jabari B. Ramsey. Constance M. Sinise. Aaron Sharp. Dara Sry. I now ask Dr. David Livingston, president of Lewis University, to come forward and officially confer the degrees that have just been presented. As president of Lewis University, in accordance with the authority invested in me by the Board of Trustees, it is my honor to award these degrees with all their rights privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations to each of you. It's official.
Thank you, Dr. Livingston. At this time, I am pleased to introduce Colleen Ahern from the class of 2022 and Vice President for University Advancement, who will now welcome our graduates as alumni of the university. Ms. Ahern. Congratulations, graduates. I am so honored to welcome you as the newest members of the Alumni Association. And we want you to know that no matter where you are, you're always welcome home at Lewis. We have one more thing to do before we make this official. <laughs> I am here to present the Father Aquinas Award. The Father Aquinas Award is given to a graduating senior who has shown exemplary personal, intellectual, and social development in the spirit of the mission during his or her years at Lewis University. Please join me in congratulating Andrea Martinez. Finally, I invite you, as our newest members of our Alumni Association, to move your tassels from the right to the left. Welcome to Lewis University Alumni Association. Thank you, Ms. Ahern. After a few announcements about the recessional and exit procedures, we will begin the closing portion of today's program. The first groups to exit the Fieldhouse are the platform party and the faculty. The graduates will recess to the area behind the curtain to your left. We ask that family members and guests of the graduates please remain in your places until all the recessionals are complete. Upon conclusion of the recessionals, you may exit the Fieldhouse using the main entrance doors to your right, or you may leave through the doors behind you. Finally, thank you for your presence here tonight. To the graduates, please take time to thank friends, relatives, spouses, partners, parents, professors, staff members, and all the many others who have played a critical role in the work that you have accomplished at Lewis University. We are very proud of you and very hopeful for your future. Dr. Janine Haberman, Assistant Professor of Nursing, will now lead us in the prayer for our graduates. Dr. Haberman. As our graduates continue their journey, we would like to send them forward today with our blessings and prayers. I invite you to turn to page four in your program books and join me in reciting portions of the prayer for our graduates. Let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God. Gracious, loving Lord, thank you for our graduates, for inspiring them to apply their gifts and talents and to grow as individuals, as emerging professionals, and as engaging members of society. Thank you for encouraging them to ensure that the Lewis University community through our commitment to learning and through our prayers, love, and service. Bless them today with joy. Sustain them in the years to come with hope in you. Encourage them with your grace to continue learning and growing, to always seek the truth, to become wiser and more compassionate, to foster community in all places, to serve those in need, and to work for peace and justice. And finally, Lord, let them be assured that you are with them always. Amen. St. John Baptist de La Salle, pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. forever.